it's Allison from Mahalo.com. I want to show you an example of finding the greatest common factor and least common multiple of two numbers when you already have their prime factorizations. So let's look at these two numbers A and B. A is 2 to the 5th times 3 to the 7th times 5 squared times 7. And B is 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5 to the 6th times 11. Now these are big numbers, I don't know what they are, but it doesn't really matter. I can find their greatest common factor and their least common multiple just by looking at these prime factorizations. So to find the greatest common factor, I only take what they have in common, what these two prime factorizations have in common. So let's start at the beginning. We have a 2 to the 5th in our A prime factorization and a 2 to the 3rd in our B. So that means I have to take the 2 to the 3rd. I have to take the smaller power because that will be included in the larger power. So I've got a 2 to the 3rd in both. What about the 3's? I have a 3 to the 7th and a 3 squared. Okay, so I have to take the 3 squared. That's what they have in common. They both have a factor of 5. One's got a 5 squared. The other has a 5 to the 6th. So I'm going to take the 5 squared. Now, A has a 7 in its prime factorization. B has an 11 but they don't have anything else in common. So the greatest common factor of A and B will be 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5 squared. Now let's look at their least common multiple. To find the least common multiple, I have to take the largest power of anything that appears in either prime factorization. So I'm pretty much going to get everything that's left over. I've got the largest power of a 2 that appears is 2 to the 5th, so I'm going to take that. And then the largest power of 3 that appears in either is 3 to the 7th, so I'm going to take that. The largest power of 5 that appears is 5 to the 6th. Now I have a 7 that appears in A, so I have to take that. And I have an 11 that appears in B, so I have to take that. So the least common multiple of these two numbers, A and B, is 2 to the 5th times 3 to the 7th times 5 to the 6th times 7 times 11. That's how you use prime factorizations to find greatest common factors and least common multiples. Thanks for learning with me today. If you want more information on any of the topics, click on any of the links below. And if you liked our videos, please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. If you have a specific request, send it to requests at mahalo.com and I'll see you next time.